So we are driving away from one of the most emotional and strangest towns that we've ever been to in our whole lives. Uh, we are in Selma, Alabama. And I mean, literally right over my shoulder is the point where civil rights marchers met with state troopers. Keep left to continue on US 80 Where they were then, you know, beaten and pummeled into retreat back into town. Um, the cool thing is, is that the history here is incredible. Uh, the bad thing is, is that everything in the town right now is either in such a 
unreal state of decay. I mean, most of the town looks like it hasn't been touched since 1963 yeah. when like, everything like, happened. Like literally, it's not hyperbole. Like building facades He's falling left. off. And the other thing is that all the all the like I don't want to say private museums, but even the National Park Museum, everything's closed. Like literally everything in the town is closed. There wasn't a single museum or historical. No, um, we went to visit first the Museum of Slavery and Civil Rights, and it's, it's closed. The website says they're open today and it has their hours, but they're closed. Yeah. And then we went to visit the National Voting Rights Museum, which also says it's open yeah. today. Closed. And they're closed. And the Over National in. Park Service Selma Interpretive Center, the like, they they gift shop th is open. Three floors of uh, three floors of exhibits and stuff like that. Everything's closed. Only the gift shop is open in the in the front. Um, and even the even the church, where everything was organized uh, for all the civil rights movements and marches and stuff like that, that's being completely renovated. So, so there's literally no sites in town right now with any historical significance that's open yeah. so it was cool we you know we got to you know we walked across the bridge and the um the that, that alone for what it's worth was that's heavy was worth the trip down here to just yeah. walk in the footsteps of and in the, the activist was just really it was heavy it's heavy that's a good word for it get a little tingle down your spine walking across the bridge in the footsteps of all those civil rights leaders it's, it's heavy and i think coming from montgomery to get here we drove the route that people marched over five days yeah we're driving highway 80 right now back back towards montgomery i mean this is where this is where people were going and you know you you can't help but imagine walking you know for five days to get to montgomery and you know Ku Klux Klan members on the side harassing you and people waving, you know, racist Confederate flags and spitting on you and heckling you the whole way for five days. Like the tremendous courage that those people had is like beyond belief. The condition of the, of the town itself was shocking. Like I wasn't ready for that. That was, I mean, it was like, it was, it was like driving back in time to the 60s. Thank you. 